Welcome folks, uh, today's flight is from um, Tampa to Nashville, flight Southwest 3084. And I'm going to go ahead and connect the jetway. And Southwest. Southwest is missing. It's a long jetway. Okay. Tampa International. Southwest service by United. All right, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the flight deck and start setting things up here. All right, let's just uh, make sure we're clear all the faults. Don't need the left side. The right side, we do need the left side. Okay, that looks good. Oxygen looks normal. Let's check the battery. We're on ground power. All the switches look normal here. And check uh, fire detection. Start the alignment process. KTPA. Okay, so once uh, all that is done. Uh, let's go ahead and check the lights, the Christmas tree check. Everything looks good up here. EECs are on. Stick shaker test. That's good. All right. Um, overhead panel. Yo damper goes on. Display switches. Normal, normal, normal. Auto, normal. Cross feed is closed. Pumps are off. We can test the electrical systems now. Galley power is on. Ground power is on. Parking brakes are, uh, wipers are off. Let's go ahead and click the seatbelt signs on. Mm -hmm. 
us the results of that test. No faults. All right, good. Overhead's all set. And, uh, let's go ahead and get the refueling. I should have uh, gotten refueling started first thing. Okay, uh, looking at the flight plan, uh, we're looking at 13.8 thousand pounds of fuel. Start that. Get catering going. We'll start boarding in a little bit. Okay, uh, so what do we have for the radios? Uh, they're advertisement, uh, advertising runway one right for departure. Uh, there's a localizer plate available for one right. Just bring that up here. Uh, localizer 111. 95 and St. Pete is 116.4 Okay, so 111.95 on Nav 1 and 116.4 on Nav 2. And let's see. Let's take a look at the flight plan. I know Atlanta is in our flight plan. One sixteen point nine. So let's go ahead and dial Atlanta on standby. All right. Clean up the transponder a little bit. So one twenty two point eight on COM one. See, tempo is not controlled right now. So we'll just leave it on 122.8. Southwest trucks are here. going to go ahead and request boarding now. Start. Start the boarding process now. Radios, uh, MC pan MCP panel coming on uh, for one right.
we need to come back uh, straight in. Minimums are going to be 460. Let's grab the weather. Uh, temp, uh, temp information, Quebec, uh, 1553 Zulu, 3504. Uh, 10 miles visibility, scattered 250, temperature 22, altimeter 3017. Uh, the flight route is going to be KTBA, KBNA. And I already had that brief program. So that goes in here. Flight of Southwest 3084. Departing one right. And we're on uh, end at nine with lease and transition. And for arrival, we're planning on RNAV Zulu 2 right. With uh, tears transition. Swift to arrival, Jagger, uh, Jagger. And we can check that. Uh, let's go ahead and go cycle for the flight plan. So we're going to take off. Departure procedure for uh, one left and right climb on the heading 007 to Then on a heading of uh, 003, we're assigned by ATC. Uh, top altitude is 6,000. So we're going to climb to 540 and turn to 003. the boarding process going. Baggage loading is in progress. Waiting to close the right entry aft. Okay. So we're basically going to take off, uh, get up to 540, Make a very slight turn to the left, continue climbing up to Andit and Leeson, maintain 6,000. Andit, Leeson. Make that a little bit bigger. 
There's a Planta, Jagger. Now for a rival, we're gonna go to Jagger, then Lancy above 240, Swift between 13 and 20. Kimot above 10, a day 250 between 8 and 12. And we're gonna go to Tears at 250 and 6. Put that on a different display here. So Jagger, Lancy, 240 or above. Swift between 13 and 20. Hemond above 10. A day 250 between 8 and 12. Then tiers two fifty and six. Okay. And then from there Arnav Zulu to right. We're gonna go from tiers two fifty and six down to Puker four thousand Wipen Jovab and onto the runway. So tiers 250, 250 and 6. Uh, the puker or puker, pucker. Uh, mandatory 4,000 and 210. We're going to be about 15 miles away from the runway at that point, so that's fine. Then we're going to slow down to uh, wipe and we're going to be 180 ish. Alright, so this looks good. Route, activate, execute. For uh, Perfinet, Takeoff fuel is 11.8. Zero fuel weight 111.95. So we'll call it 112. 5,000 for reserves. Cost index of 40. Uh, cruise is going to be 380. For the winds at uh, the top of climb, the winds are 249 at 89. Temperature there is going to be minus 54. Unable 250 at a day, uh, so let's check that. That's on the arrival, right? 250 between 8 and 12. And so the reason is because it's maintaining 240 below 10. So if we change that to 50 below 10,000, that should clear that. Here. All 
maybe it's uh, it's thinking it's going to be above 10,000 at AD, which is going to be about 250. So we'll have to control that. I'm not too worried about it right now. So let's take a look at uh, performance. Everything looks good here. 112 we set on the zero fuel weight. And minimum takeoff is 111.8. Uh, so the total fuel is 13.8, plus we have 300 for taxi, and that gives us 13.5. And that should satisfy the performance count. Alright, we've got plenty of fuel. We're going to be landing with 6,000 pounds, which is what we're planning on. Baggage loading in progress. Boarding is completed. Go ahead and release the fuel. Let me grab the fuel on board 13802. Just going to jot that down. Uh, oil quantity 83 and 86. Hydraulics 90 and 92. Quantities look good. And doors are closed. Uh, we're good to go. Takeoff time is going to be 16.25 at 16.07, so we're about uh, 18 minutes uh, to go. Uh, we're going to push away from the gate as soon as we get ready here. So let's check all this stuff. Uh, auto, auto reset. Cage that. Um, let's go ahead and it and it flight performance weight and balance read from the aircraft and so we got. Uh, See what we got. Zero fuel weight is incorrect. Payload. Zero fuel weight 111.95. So what did we say? 112. Okay, so for taxi fuel we said 300. Trip fuel is 7.5. 
7,500. And so 111.9 on zero fuel weight, takeoff fuel 125.4, maximum landing weight is 129.2, so that's above the takeoff. So we could essentially come back right into the landing if there's a problem on takeoff uh, and tax everything is within limits here. Complete. Uh, runways, uh, let's copy FMC data here, see if it picks up uh, one right. Conditions dry. So it winds 354. Temperature of 223017 on the altimeter. Takeoff, optimum flaps, air conditioning on anti ice is not required. Calculate this. So uh, V1 rotate and V2 124, 127, 131. I'm just going to write those down 124, 127. 131. Uh, let's see, uh, assume temperature is 55. Flaps 5. CG 19.7. Trim 6.0. Okay. And uh, we have 8323 available uh, runway length and 26 foot elevation. Setting up the pressurization panel. Okay, so this all this looks good. Let's get the beacons on. Sorry. APU is coming on. Check this. Um, Fifty five assumed temperature runway winds three fifty at four. Flaps five. CG was 19.7, trim 6.01, 124, 127, and 131, which is exactly what was calculated. So that's all set. Uh, we can disconnect from the ground. Parking brakes are on. Doors closed, windows closed.
And doors are denied. Denied. Entry is denied. Okay, just uh, really quick. Um, take off uh, of V2 is 131. So we'll set 141 for climb, initial climb speed. Uh, time is 6.15, 10 minutes prior to pushback. Uh, speed on 141. V1, 124. Flight director is uh, on 6,000. 3017460045, and uh, that's all set. This looks good. Uh, 6.01 on the trim. Takeoff test. Step trim uh, cutout switches are normal. Everything here looks good, and let's go for TARA test. Okay, so fuel were cleared with 13.8, uh, 13.8 on board. Uh, Gilly power is on. Emergency exit lights armed. Passenger signs are on. Windows heat on. Hydraulics normal. Air conditioning pressurization. Pax auto. For now, bleeds on. Autopilots are disengaged. Flight instruments set and cross checked. Auto brake, RTO, speed brake, uh, down detent. Par parking brake is set. Stabilizer trim cutouts, which is normal. Wheel well fire warning checked, radio set, ru ru rudder and aileron trim free and zero. Departure briefing completed. So we're going to one right, uh, which means we're going to go nose left. Documents on board, FMC, CDU set and verified, N1 airspeed bugs are set, doors and windows are locked. Anti-collision light is on. Times 1619. Just gonna jot that down. Packs off. Fuel pumps are on. 
And number two to ground. And two rotation, and one rotation. Start the timer. Fuel. Oil pressure. Okay, number two is stable. And two, and one rotation. Number one start. Oil pressure. Left is clear. Right is clear. Let's start the warm up timer. And uh, number one is stable. See, we have dumping in the center tank, so the center pumps are going to be off. Um, okay, flaps. Uh, let's see, flaps five. Recall checked. Flight controls. Right, generators on, probe heat is on. Anti ice is not required. Hydraulics normal. Pax Auto bleeds on. APU is off. Start levers continues. Sorry, uh, start levers are idle, switches, ignition switches continues, and transponder are on. Transponder.
Transponder is uh, T A R A, it looks like it. Looks good. Sixteen twenty-five on the clock here. Our pushback time was sixteen twenty-five, so we're just a couple of minutes ahead of schedule. Let's go ahead and pick up some speed here. An aircraft landing in Tampa. I'm not sure what he's doing. American 1944. I don't see my final here. Tampa traffic southwest 3084 taking off runway one right departing north Tampa. He's landing, but he's not talking to anybody. That's the time. Takeoff time, 16.28, lights. Have a seat, flight attendants, have a seat. the other way. Alright, 1628 out of the clock, auto throttle goes on. 40% down two.
all nav. Flaps one. Enough. There's that guy right there. Tampa traffic southwest 3084, clear of front way one right Tampa. Flaps up. the wrong way this guy traffic traffic yeah we're above them up on 6,000. Let's continue to climb. up on 10,000. Autopilots. After takeoff uh, checklist, air conditioning, pressurization, Bleeds auto, packs auto bleeds on, pressure's climbing, APU off, start switches uh, continues, keep them on to about 18,000, uh, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights, auto brake is off. At 16:28, done takeoff time. Tampa, St. Pete, and Atlanta. We're not picking up Atlanta just yet. So we're a little bit off course.
Outside temperature plus 17. A few clouds. Should be pretty clear most of the way. Seventeen thousand coming up on transition altitude, eighteen thousand. At eighteen thousand, we're going to click the landing lights off, uh, start switches. We'll go to off and. Altimeter is going to go to standard. And the wind lights can come off. Thirty five miles from St. Pete. Climbing 380, 17 minutes after pushback. And climbing through 20,000. Uh, this area is uncontrolled right now, so we're just walking uh, 2200 IFR. Put the flight officer, uh, first officer on the uh, terrain. So we can see where the water is. Water is the, the black part and the terrain is green. Let's get uh, the wind, winds information, winds aloft. One nice thing about this airplane is that all of this is automated. It's connected to the Active Sky and automatically downloads all, all the data. Some of the older airplanes, like um, MD-80, you have to do that yourself. Okay, the ones are uploaded. That gives us a, a more accurate prediction on the landing fuel 6.2. Uh, so we plan to land with uh, 6,000 pounds of fuel on board and uh, 5,000 is minimum for us, so that's bingo fuel. Try not to go below 5,000, so 6,000 is probably ideal. That's what I was taught.
but it's also company specific I guess that's uh, this is the southwest take a look outside Grab a snapshot of it. Screenshot. bit better from the nose that angle where the sun kind of reflects off of the uh, fuselage that looks pretty good Coming up on uh, Bruts, about 20 miles, 14 miles. Climbing through 320 for 380. Beautiful day outside, a little cloudy. North Florida. Those brats right here. Uh, 90 miles from St. Pete, but still not picking up Atlanta. This uh, Valdosta VOR 113.3, we can dial into that. Three 
Is that the right Valdosta VOR? Should be, we should be picking it up, yeah. It's right there, 64 miles. It's right up ahead. up on top of climb we should be at uh, we should have uh, 10.2 thousand pounds of fuel on board according to the plan we got 10.2 exactly here so we are right on schedule as far as the fuel consumption goes Landing was 6.2. Three eight zero. All right, uh, see belts. Put that on auto. Electrical looks normal. Everything here looks normal. Start switches are off. Use off. Oil quantity, pressure. That looks good. Hydraulics look good. Thirty minutes into uh, the flight. Push back and 20, 20 minutes after takeoff. Going to be landing at 16:30 according to the plan. Uh, sorry, 18:30. If we took off at 16, departure was supposed to be 16:25. We pushed back. The gate about five minutes early, I think. Uh, 1619, yep, about six minutes early. Arrival time is 1830, according to the plan. And uh, this is telling us uh, based on the winds aloft, uh, we're going to be there at uh, 1751. So about 40 minutes early, 39 minutes early, which is, I'm sure the Passengers are going to be happy about that. 
case they have to make connection flights and things like that. Um, typically try to try to arrive uh, within 15 minutes of the slot time uh, because of the gate availability and things like that. So if we get there too early, you know, in real life you have to sit there and wait until the gate clears up if there's nothing available. So, you know, these things are scheduled pretty tight in uh, real life operations, but of course, you know, in the simulator it's different. Um, just looking at the Fat Spy, it shows Atlanta Center's online uh, 132.97. Jet Jet 3, correction, Jet Jet 231, contact Washington Center, 133.72, good day. 133.72, good day, good day. Delta 1224, Atlanta Center, do you hear me? Delta 1224, going to Atlanta, flight level 350, do you hear me? Atlanta Center. Okay, the center maintain 12,000, the Atlanta altimeter 3016. 12,000 on altimeter uh, 3016, Delta 1224. Delta 1224, sorry for uh, leaving the frequency, I'm not sure what happened there. So somehow uh, switch without me knowing. No American 222, safe speed. Uh, two, 270. American 222, maintain 310, correction, maintain 300, not in climb. So maintain 310 on the climb, Mark. American 1978, do not exceed 300, not in climb. 20Q300, American 1978. Atlanta Center, Green Air. Green Air 36, Atlanta Parks, Retta Contact, Climb Maintain, Level 320. Level 320, West 281 Green Air 36, speed is your discretion. Washington Center, 133.72, have a good day. 133.72 for America 222, good America 1978, Connect Washington Center, 133.72, have a great night. Delta 1224, American 1978. Delta 1224, advising of the aid at Atlanta, you can expect runway 9 or right. Expecting runway 9 or right, Delta 1224. Delta 1224, advising of the aid at Atlanta. So we got uh, information of uh, Delta 1224. Uh, Thank you. Atlanta Center, American 1402, short of Echo on Charlotte, we have our Timber 3015 PDC on board, and a request taxi for 367. Good evening, Atlanta Center, Delta 121, passing through 6500. Delta 121, Atlanta Center, radar contact, climb and maintain 14000. 14000 for Delta 121, heavy. 
American 1402, runway 36 center, taxi via Echo, cross runway 5 and taxi via Echo. Cross runway 5 and taxi via Echo, taxi 36 center, American 1402. Delta 1224, maintain 111,000. Delta maintain uh, 11,000, Delta 1224. Delta 121, climb and maintain, level 230, leaving 14,000, so we're at Kellen. All right, uh, level 230, and say again for the waypoint. Delta 121, out of 14,000, leaving 14,000 feet, so we're at Kellen. Direct Kellen, leaving 14,000 feet, Delta 121. Parching United 409, it's 5.2 for 10. United 409, Atlanta, Parcher, Radar Contact, climb and maintain 14,000. 14,000, United uh, 409. Planet Center, Southwest 3084, 40 miles from John, Waypoint 30. Southwest 3084, Atlanta Center, I'm sorry, say that one more time for me. Uh, Southwest 3084 is uh, northbound, uh, 40 miles from John, Waypoint, flight level 380. Southwest 3084, squawk 2024. 2024 Southwest 3084. Atlanta Center, good afternoon. X ray Bravo Charlie Hotel Lima is at flight level 416, climbing flight level 440, eight miles south of Mike India Charlie Echo Sierra. American 2552, clear direct Pulaski, Papa Sierra Kilo. American 2552, say again. American 2552, clear direct Pulaski, VOR, that's PSK, Papa Sierra Kilo. Clear direct to uh, Pulaski. Delta 121, climb and maintain, level 340. 340, Delta 121. I'm sorry, there was a. Uh, Another aircraft call me. Stay call time one more time. Challenger X ray Bravo Charlie Hotel Lima. Okay, and state position for me. Three miles south of the Mice's Waypoint, Mike India, Charlie Echo Sierra. X ray Bravo Charlie Hotel Lima, you're still a little bit outside my airspace. I will talk to you in about um, probably 15 minutes. All right, I'll hold on for about 15 minutes. Challenger Hotel Lima. Thank you. Uh, it's an American 1402, short of 36 center, we're ready to go. American 1402, turn left, heading 330, runway 36 center, clear for takeoff. After departure left 330, clear takeoff, runway 36 center, American 1402. Record 409, climb and maintain, level 320. 320, United 409. Delta 3331, Atlanta departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 14,000. Climb and maintain 14,000, Delta 3331. 
Delta 121, clap and maintain, level 410. Level 410 for Delta 121, thank you. Delta 3331, climb and maintain, follow up on 230. Climb and maintain, follow up on 230, Delta 3331. American 1402, shell departure, radar contact, say altitude. Uh, passing 2000 now, American 1402. Record 1402, clear direct Bob, the climb and maintain, flight level 240, resume normal speed. Direct to Bob, the climb and maintain 240, American 1402. Delta 
Delta 3331, climb and maintain, follow level 310. Climb and maintain, follow level 310, Delta 3331. Alpha was 3084, block 2026. Uh, 2026, Southwest 3084. Delta 1224, to set up maintain 3000. Set up maintain 3000, Delta 1224. Up to 1224, Atlanta Airport, stop your right wing at about three miles of the airport site. Delta 1224, clear through the approach, runway 9 and right, contact tower 119.1. Good day. Clear visual approach, runway 9 and right, over to tower 119 decimal 1, thanks for your ATC, and have a good day, Delta 1224. You as well, see ya. Alpha 3084 to set a maintain for level 350. Uh, to set maintain 350, Southwest 3084. Good afternoon, Atlanta Center, Challenger X-ray Bravo, Charlie Hotel Lima is with you at flight level 440. X-ray Bravo, Charlie Hotel Lima, Atlanta Center, squawk 2074. Oh, you can add a little bit. Could you repeat that squawk code, Charlie Hotel Lima? 2074. 2074 for Challenger Hotel Lima.
Charlie, Hotel Lima, radar contact, flight level 440. Radar contact, Charlie, Hotel Lima. And X-ray Bravo, Charlie, Hotel Lima. For that uh, altitude, I'm going to need you either 1,000 feet above or below. So would you like flight level 430 or flight level 450? I'll take 450, Charlie, Hotel Lima. Charlie, Hotel Lima, climb and maintain flight level 450. Climb and maintain four five Lima or four five zero Charlie Hotel Lima. Atlanta said a good day. Um, uh, FedEx fourteen forty seven with you at flight level two nine zero heading towards Jerusalem. FedEx fourteen forty seven Atlanta Center. Right. Top of 3084, descent and maintain, flight level 240. Descent and maintain, 240, southwest 3084. Delta 4565 heavy, uh, flight level 4240. Delta 4565 alive, Delta 4565 heavy, with you early or my advocate, um, distance I was giving to you from Memphis. Delta 4565, no, you're fine. You're Climb and maintain, follow up on 410. Good evening. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. Alright, so. Greener 36, Indianapolis Center, close frequency change group. Good day. Good to you, Greener 36. It's taking us a little bit lower now. Uh, so the weather is uh, 0308 Nashville, altimeter 3026. Atlanta Center, can you give us the wind at flight level 290 for FedEx 1447? Uh, FedEx 1447, I can try, just give me a second. Alright, thank you. So get one ILS is going to be 790. Static 1447, the closest winds that I've recorded by level 300 at Huntsville is 254.63. Thank you, because we're having some mild turbulence up here. Roger, would you like to try a lower altitude? Yes, maybe 280, 270. Static 1447, descend and maintain by level 270. Then, at pilot's discretion, maintain by level 240. 270 for FedEx 1447 and uh, pilot discretion will go to 240. FedEx 1447. Delta 1607, Memphis closed. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. You have a great day. Frequency change approved. Delta 1607, bye bye.
Circuit 1402, cross Ozzy at 14,000, Atlanta altimeter 3017. Okay, Williams, cross Ozzy at 14,000, uh, Atlanta altimeter 3017, uh, American 1402. Southwest 3084 descending to the swift to arrival landing north, the national altimeter 3026. Swift 2 landing north uh, 3026, southwest 3084. Delta 4565 after Vulcan, Victor Uniform Zulu, Sudrek to Spartanburg. Delta 4565, if um, I can, can I go ahead and keep my current one? Because I don't know if I actually have that. I found the next wave once I have is um, Victor Uniform Zulu, Atlanta, and then Tango um, with the Oscar Uniform Papa. And spawn jet. Mm -hmm. Up 4565 affirmative after Vulcan, that's Victor Uniform Zulu, the one you're directing currently. After that, then go to Rex Pierre Pop Alpha. I copy. Um, I just have a hard time with it because it has a hit uh, being Microsoft. Okay, disregard. I can attempt it to do it, but, uh, but no problem. <laughs> no, you're all good. I understand. Fine. FedEx 1447, cross the Glavin intersection at 12,025. You're not feeling off. 3017. Right. Uh, FedEx 1447, cross the Glavin waypoint at. Can you repeat that? 12,250 knots, altimeter 3017. One two thousand uh we'll cross the Glavin and the Glavin waypoint one two thousand and two five zero knots. Uh we also have Bravo on board. Thank you, you can expect runway eight left. Eight left for FedEx fourteen forty seven. Delta thirty three thirty one Indianapolis Center closed radar service terminator frequency change approved. Have a good day. Frequency change approved, thank you very much. Uh Dallas thirty three thirty one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Delta one twenty one connect Washington center one three three point seven two. Have a good day. Over to Washington Center. Delta 141, thank you. American 14, zero two advise and information. Bravo, expect runway 8 left. Yep, got Bravo on board and uh, expect 8 left, American 14, zero two. You've had to 409, Memphis Center just closed. Radar service terminator, frequency change approved. Have a great day. Yeah, right, switching over to the darkness, you had to 409. Delta 4565, if you can, can you tell me uh, how much uh, time will be by the director's part first? I can't tell you how much time, say again. 
Can you tell me about how much time it would save me if I go to my director's bike park? Delta 4565 at your current ground speed right now, your ex Spartanburg to get there would take 33 minutes. Okay, okay, I guess what I was asking is like, uh, instead of, because I can set my, uh, my, uh, flight heading and I can direct to there. Um, I just, uh, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. No, just stay in your current routing for about a 4565, no problem. Target 2552, contact Washington, center 133.72, have a great night. Contact Washington on, what was it again? 133.72, good day. 133 decimal 2, you have a good day, thank you for the ATC. 133.72, 3372, you have a great night. American 1152, I'm closing up here. Uh, Shimano Unicom 1248, have a great night. Yeah, no worries, my name is Unicom. American 1402, Atlanta Center, closing radar service. Terminator, big with the Jane have a great night. Service Unicom, thanks for your service and have a good night, American 1402. FedEx 1447, Atlanta Center closing, radar service terminated, frequency change crew, have a great night. South of 3084, Atlanta Center closing, radar service terminated, frequency change approved, Nashville approach is still on, once you get there, 100.35, we'll see you. All right, sounds good, thanks for ATC, Southwest 3084. Delta 4565, Atlantic Star Closing, Radar Service Terminator, frequency change for a few days. Delta 4565, heavy, over to you, how much you can get that there. Charlie Hotel Lima, Atlantic Star Closing, Radar Service Terminator, frequency change for a few days. Going off into the void, Charlie Hotel Lima. I'm uh, one zero zero. Okay, so I think we're all set up for the landing here. Just 
aircraft. It's still only 2,500 feet below me. FedEx 1447 Memphis to Atlanta is landing Atlanta. Alright, there's no factor. Zero two six on the altimeter. Uh, Seven ninety for minimums. Uh, runway two right. If he switches us to two left. So visual approach is two left and two right in use. All right, now we're configured for two right uh, minimums. Seven ninety. That's what I have to set. If we go to two left, which is unlikely. It's going to be 7.99 for the minimums, so it's going to be a little bit about that. Uh, it's visual conditions. Not too worried about it, so I'm just going to set it for the worst case. left is 109.9 and 111.75 for two right so we'll, we'll have uh, two left ILS on standby Number 900 King of Bravo National Departure, good evening. We are clear to the Robertson County Airport by radar vectors direct. Come and maintain 2000 departure assist frequency, clock 1662. Number 900 King of Bravo, good evening. We are clear to the Robertson County Airport by radar vectors direct. Come and maintain 2000 departure assist frequency, clock 1662. Number 900, Tango Bravo, just confirm my clear due to the Robertson County Airport. This is the Mike Bravo Tango Airport, number CD and 0 Tango Bravo. Yeah, 
Tango V, strength over on Vision County for TP and Strength and Cobra. Number 907, Tango Rapid, no problem, your read back is correct. Um, you can expect runway 2 for departure. The uh, John 2 and Alcimeter 3023. Runway 2, 3023, TP and Strength and Cobra. Nashville approach, good evening, Southwest 3084. Uh, we're still quite a ways out, about 100 miles southeast. Uh, we'll be landing Nashville with information. Thank you. Southwest 3084, uh, Nashville approach, good evening. Uh, just continue inbound. Call me when you're about uh, 40 miles south of them. Okay, sounds good. We'll call you back at uh, 40 miles Southwest 3084. Departure TV and Zero Tango Bravo request. Zero Nine Zero Zero Tango Bravo, uh, go ahead. Zero Tango Bravo is actually going to need a higher altitude to be able to fly the obstacle departure. Zero Nine Zero Zero Tango Bravo, uh, Roger, do you have a requested altitude to go up to? We'd like to try four thousand feet and Zero Tango Bravo. Zero Nine Zero Zero Tango Bravo, Roger, please remain the same. Uh, Calm and maintain four thousand one Roger. We're turning to 4,000 hertz from the same fee and starting a relevant. Nashville was up with 4480 hotel and short of 2 8. Southwest 4480, winds are 020 at 8 on departure flight runway heading. Runway to right, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading and uh, clear takeoff to right, southwest Turner, TV, zero, single Bravo, is ready to taxi. Number 900, zero, zero, Bravo, standby, one second. Southwest 4480, radar contact, common maintain, 15,000, proceed direct from Merle. Up to 015,000, direct from Merle, Southwest 4480. Number 900, Tango Bravo, uh, runway 2, taxi of uh, Alpha. To the Alpha, TPM, Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo, up on top of descent, six miles.
Bravo, we're ready to go through. Number 900, Tango Bravo, 1010 zero, zero at 8, from my 2, clear for takeoff. Go see, Tango Bravo, Number 900, Tango Bravo, just out of make that runway heading. Southwest 4480 contact uh, <laughs> correction monitor Unicom 122.8. Yeah. Alright, Unicom 122.8 to Southwest 4480. Have a good night. He's going to Chicago. Southwest 4480. Following 737, which is uh, Chicago. Alright, coming up a uh, thousand to go for transition, altitude, uh, ignition is going to go continuous, uh, let's go ahead and switch the seatbelt signs on, lighting lights uh, will come on, and the wind lights. Good night, Tango Bravo, uh, radar contact, the altitude. Roger, Tango Bravo, to 1,700 for four. Number 9, sir, sir, thank you, Robert. Roger, you can go ahead and proceed direct destination. Do you have a reproach request? Direct destination, I'd prefer whatever you'd like to look on to the way for approach TDM 0, thank you, Apollo. Thank you, Apollo. Okay, anti ice not required, air conditioning, pressurization, backs auto bleeds on, altimeters and instruments are set and checked, N1 and airspeed bugs checks and set, auto brakes on 2, and cabin notification, uh, we'll give them a ding at 10,000. Right, zero zero King Bravo. Sorry about that. Uh, just maintain four thousand and proceed direct to Indica. Direct to Indica. And all this heading will be the procedure term for keeping zero King Bravo. Number nine zero zero King Bravo. You said you'd like to do the procedure turn? On this intercept, the Indica will need to do it. Keeping zero King Bravo. Number nine zero King Bravo. Roger.
Nashville approach, southwest 3084. Uh, we're about 40 miles out now, uh, descending on Swift 2 through 12,000. Southwest 3084, hello again. You can expect the ILS to runway 2 right, Nashville altimeter 3026. I lost to right uh, 3026 southwest 3084, thanks. Roger, TV and Tango Bravo, Electric, West 4. 9 0 Tango Bravo, you can send them at 3000. 3000, TV and Tango Bravo. Southwest 3084, uh, turn left heading 300, the center of Tango 8000. Left turn 300 southwest 384. Get a speeding ticket straight. Number nine zero zero Tango Bravo. I cross and uh, maintaining three thousand. Declared localizer runway four at the uh, Robertson County. Make a three clear localizer runway four T B M zero to go. Go nine zero zero Tango Bravo. Just uh, report that procedure turn it down. We'll go T B M zero to go. Southwest 3084, go ahead and descend and maintain 3000. Roger, 3000, Southwest 3084. Southwest 3084, turn left heading uh, 285. Left turn 285 Southwest 3084.
Sir Zero, Tango Bravo, it's established how the procedure here in the top. Number 9, there's our Tango Bravo, Roger. You can report IFR cancellation on the air or correction <laughs> in the air or all on the ground this frequency. Uh, report uh, IFR cancellation with you, keep being Zero, Tango Bravo. Nine zero zero Tango Bravo, you said you'd like your canceling IFR now. Negative one will record our IFR cancellation TV on Zero Tango Bravo. Five. Southwest 3084, you are eight miles on approach fix. Turn right heading 360, maintain 3000 till established under localizer, cleared ILS, runway two right. Uh, heading 360, maintain 3000 till established, cleared for ILS, two right, uh, Southwest 3084. Up with 3084 winds 020 zero zero at 8, runway 2 right clear to land. 2 right clear to land, southwest 3084.
ignition continues. Recall checked. Auto brakes armed. Gear down three green. Flaps thirty. TV on the Zero Tango Bravo is south, climbing 3,100 missed approach off of Springfield. The 900 Tango Bravo, Roger. Climb and maintain 4,000. Correction, 3,000. Ident. This is Zero Tango Bravo. Ident. Then we're climbing to 3,100 for the missed approach. Number 900 Tango Bravo. It's going to be a. Uh, I'll give you vector stack around if you want the uh, localizer from my four again. One hundred. Right, doesn't Bergeron Tango Bravo like to request the R and average my four? Fifty. Nine zero zero Tango Bravo, Roger. 50. You can expect the R and L from my four. Um, yeah. I'll have you write our vectors here shortly. Tesla thirty eighty four. Welcome to Nashville. Left one able. Uh, thank you. Left one able. Southwest thirty eighty four. Number 900 Tango Bravo radar contact. Uh, say altitude. You can from 100 to the Zero Tango Bravo. Lost the center line. Number 0 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 220. Turn heading 220. Number 0 Tango Bravo. Plus 3084, uh, welcome to Nashville. Hotel Juliet to the ramp, this is mine. Hotel Juliet Julia to the ramp, Southwest 3084, thanks for the ATC. issues. Southwest 3084. I'm having some uh, scenery elevation issues here. I'm gonna make go right on Lima if that's okay. Number 30 correction. Southwest 3084. I have the same issue. Uh, you can make the right on Juliet and then just choose the tango to go straight to the ramp. Okay, sounds good. We'll see if I can go through this brick wall here that's right in front of me.
departure TDM zero Tango Bravo. Over. Number nine zero zero Tango Bravo. I met you. Approach, go ahead. Okay, so number zero Tango Bravo has the field in sight and fly it. Number nine zero zero Tango Bravo. Roger. Your radar services are terminated. Frequency change to proof. Thank you. Okay, change to proof. TDM zero Tango Bravo with the walking vehicle. Nashville approach and over 222 Alpha Delta, uh, approximately 5 miles south of Smyrna. I'd like to pick a fire for Nashville. Number 222 Alpha Delta, you're cleared to the Nashville airport uh, by radar vectors. Maintain uh, 3000 and this frequency, squawk 1616. Go to Nashville via radar vectors. Maintain at 3000 and squawk 1616 to Alpha Delta. Or Alpha Delta. Um, you can expect the visual runway to right. I will expect the visual runway to right, uh, back to Alpha, to Alpha Delta. Two 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 Alpha Delta radar contact thirteen miles to the southeast of the National Airport. Uh, maintain your present heading and just uh, three thousand. Present heading in three thousand uh, two Alpha Delta. Number 222 Alpha Delta, the National Airport is going to be uh, 12 miles to your 2 o'clock uh, report to field site. Field site, uh, 92 Alpha Delta. Number 222 Alpha Delta, Roger, cleared visual approach from the 2 right. Clear from the visual from the 2 right, uh, 92 Alpha Delta.
Okay, folks, uh, we're on the ground. Final fuel fifty one oh one. Number two 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 Alpha Delta wind zero one zero out five from my two right clear to land. On my two right clear to land, I'm mean two alpha delta. Time now, 18, 18.05, we'll call that at a gate. 15 minutes early, 1.8 uh, hours block time. Actually did pretty good on this one. Uh, let's take a look at the burn. Okay, so we started out with uh, 13,802, and uh, we used up about 300 pounds on taxi, and ended up with 5,101 in the tanks, so we burned through 8401 out of uh, 7500 planned. Uh, so about uh, 900 pounds of uh, fuel over what we estimated. Landing rate minus one forty nine. Not bad. November 337 Julia Bravo. We passed over each one uh, a ways back there. We're direct at Atlanta, uh, Drake National. Number 337 Julia Bravo. Uh, quite a bit out of my airspace, and uh, we should be closing up soon. If I do happen to be on, you can call me 40 miles out of the field. 40 miles out, 7 Julia Bravo. Uh, Southwest 3084, we're setting out. Thanks a lot for the ATC. Nice job setting up uh, for final approach. We'll see you next time. That's for 3084. No problem. Thanks for flying to see me. Attention all aircraft. Uh, Nashville approach closing in 10 minutes. 